Three reasons why we should all be more compassionate to each other. Hello everybody, it's Tom here from The Company Code, author, educator and public speaker. Today I'm going to give my take on why it is really important to be more compassionate to each other. Compassion for yourself is vitally important as well, but I'll do that in a video another day. But definitely compassion towards other people, their situations, their feelings, their emotions is something that we should all look to cultivate in our lives. Some maybe more than others, but personally myself, I hold a lot of compassion for others, or try to, and I try and practice this daily. I don't know, maybe it's the Christian in me. You know, I'm not an all singing, all dancing, I don't go to church, and I'm not here to preach to you and tell you what to believe. Don't think that for one minute. But compassion is something I hold as a very important thing. So, first reason. Well, quite simply, my, my audience, compassion is, it's a stress reliever. It's there and it will alleviate stress both in yourself and probably the person that you're showing the compassion to. You think about it, you're showing that person some love, some attention. You're trying to show them empathy, you're trying to relate to their situation, you're trying to listen, you're trying to be there for them. If you're in a bad place, and you know you've got somebody fighting your back, fighting your corner, being decent like that, with no expectation of anything back, which is ultimately what is the aim here, then what you're actually doing is you're giving that person a boost. But by doing it, you're actually boosting yourself as well. Think about it. All love starts from self-love. Whatever you hold inside radiates outwards. So if you're kind enough to be recognising somebody in a bad situation and showing compassion towards them, and what you're actually doing is you're boosting both yourself and that other person in terms of stress, levels of anxiety and decreasing of depression as well. That is only a good thing, guys. I mean, really, absolutely. I mean, come on. You know, it's such an important element of it. Second reason. Quite simply, by being more compassionate, you're building kind of like a resilience, a mental resilience. Think about it, yeah? If you're able to take yourself out of your own situation for a second and try and see things to, from another person's point of view with no judgment, what you're actually doing is quite empowering. It's empowering to them, it's empowering to you, and equally, it's a strong thing that you're doing. It's very easy in this day and age to not care about what's going on with someone else, to only care about yourself and your own family, and to just basically not even give another person who may be struggling a second thought. That is the easiest thing that any of us could do. To actually go out your way a little bit and show that other person love, compassion and help lend a caring ear in their time of need is a strong thing to do. And mentally you are making yourself stronger because think about it, there'll probably come a situation in your life where you may need them. Or, you know, you may come across a similar situation in your life. Remember the advice you gave to that person. Or what it is that you said they should do to maybe help get through it. And then apply it in your own life. So, it's a win-win situation here by being compassionate. While the idea is not to take anything from it. And I'm not saying that that's what you should, you should do it just for that aim. Not at all, no. It's a wonderful quality to have. But by showing somebody love and compassion and being there like that, it is benefiting both you and them, ultimately. Okay? So, again, it is a great thing that you're doing there, okay? Third and final reason. Quite frankly, it doesn't really come as any surprise. This whole thing promotes positive aging yes as we get older we hang on more to the people that we've knew knew when we were younger and people we've known for years we look to 
a certain pattern in our lives, I suppose, a routine if you like. And we look to the strength of the relationships we've built with people over the years, whether that be family, friends, partners, whatever. The whole idea is that this thing is boosting your well-being. By being the go-to person or being somebody who has, at some point in their lives, done more, gone out of themselves, even for just a couple of occasions, to help someone in their time of need, is producing a big feel-good factor within yourself. And all studies aside has proven that if you're this sort of person, as you get older, you're going to age more gracefully and more positively, which is only a good thing, because let's face it, guys, none of us are getting any, any younger, myself included. I'm not here to tell you what my age is, but you can probably guess. I'm just here to sort of promote that, again, this act is something that if we all do, we will see benefits for ourselves as well as others. As I've said though, don't don't get it twisted, this is not the aim. It's not to just take and from the experience. To to give, there will be a receiving part later. With no expectation though. This is what I'm saying. Okay. Those are my three reasons why. We should be more compassionate towards each other. Thank you all very much for listening to my video. As always, I really appreciate your time and your patience on my channel. Your presence is much appreciated. Thank you kindly. This is the first of three videos this week. Put down in the comment section below, would you say that you're a compassionate person? Is it something that you practice daily? Something that you feel you need to practice more? You know... Would you say that that's a character trait that you possess or aim to possess, you know? Remember, remember to hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a thumbs up and a like. And let's hear that bell sign go ding dong so you know when my next content's out. As I'll be putting out videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Until then guys, I want to say thank you all very, very much for what being on my channel again and for being here and for all of your support much love thank you very kindly i'll be back in a few days until then bye for now